Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. This is aircraft kit in 148 scale which copies B26K uh, counter invader in its early version. Kit number is 48278 and we have a commercial sample here on the table so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So it will be interesting to check what is actually provided in this early version release because we reviewed all the previous versions let's say of the b26 and you can check it on our youtube channel because all these big aircraft kits are quite interesting and there are quite i would say unusual versions as well so it's worth checking each of these kits but today we are going to talk about this early version of the counter invader so first of all box size is absolutely the same as the previous b26 releases and it's quite big here you can see comparison with my hand we have nice box art here and on the side you will find some information about the kit so again we get the dark font on the dark background which is not that I would say enjoyable combination and we have 245 parts which should assemble into aircraft with a wingspan equals uh, 200 actually 447 millimeters so it's a 148 scale double engine aircraft so do not expect a small model and as for the markings we get four profiles here but obviously there will be detailed markings or marking guides in the assembly manual when we will be checking uh, it later now I'm removing these uh, plastic seals so it's a matter of cutting through them so just give me a second to take it here and we will take a closer look together I would say it's a typical packaging for ICM, so it's better to check if these seals are intact. If they are not, it means that somebody was opening the box before you and it would be a wise idea to check all the parts. Or maybe ask the seller why it is provided in this uh, shape, let's say. So, okay, I opened the box. And usually it's quite a lot of fun to remove this top cover from the big ICM kits because it's a quite tight fitment and I think you can might even hear how I'm lifting it centimeter by centimeter. We get this flexible top cover which is actually just for the illustrations. It does not provide any protection at all. And now I will try to fit it somewhere so that it won't be bothering us. And as for the parts, they are stored securely in the white cardboard box. So as you can see, it's a bit of a tight packaging, but still everything should arrive to you intact unless the uh, postal office will try to screw something. And as far as you can see, parts are separated into two plastic bags. So just give me a second to open the first one. And it will be a lot of fun to review this stuff sprue by sprue because there are plenty of these parts and frankly speaking all this looks quite impressive. So first of all we start with a clear frame which is packed into a separate plastic bag so I'm going to open it right now and here it is. So let's zoom in and I think there will be more clear parts in the separate plastic bag so we will be talking about them a bit later again but here we get some of the canopy parts and in my opinion they look more or less fine and just like the recent plastic kits from ICM I hope this one is featuring the um, masks template because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to mask all these clear parts it is doable but it will take some part some time or you might get the aftermarket release from Edward pre-cut masks which are ready to be used so it's up to you whether you would like to spend more or you would like to use the templates if they are provided next we start with the first gray plastic sprue so here we get wing parts and I will have to zoom out a bit. I would say the overall parts division is something what you will expect from such large kits. So we get two wing hubs, we have separate wing mechanization, we have engine gondolas parts and everything looks nice. So I suggest we take a quick look 
in a zoomed in view so let's zoom in and here you can take a look at the panel lines so everything looks more or less fine and uh, they are not that deep so i would recommend to be careful while painting and priming them because it's easy to lose them under several layers and here by the way you can see that there are some features in the engine gondolas which are visible through them because it's basically the main wheel wells Next we continue with another set of wing parts, so here we also get the bulkheads which will be also supporting the main wings, but I would recommend to use some metal rod in order to ensure the overall strength of the construction because uh, these are quite large wings and it will be important to avoid the unnecessary sagging because otherwise you might end up with ugly looking aircraft and do not forget that it's uh, almost a half a meter wingspan. Next we continue with a pair of sprues which is dedicated to the engine part. So here they are and I will show you only one because they are absolutely identical but it's really cool to see these parts included into the standard set because here we get a really nice engine out of the box. We get frontal section of the cowling as a single piece part. We have one piece aircraft propeller and also what I can see here is that we also get some bombs to attach on this aircraft but I think they will not be used in this version of the aircraft because it uses the rocket launchers and I think we will see them further in the video review. But one more sprue here. This one is busy with the fuselage panels. We also have some panels for the landing gear base. Here are landing gear X. These are main ones. This is the nose landing gear. And here we have the machine gun barrels which are hollow inside which is also cool because it will give a better look. Obviously if you are striving for even better realistic appearance let's say then go for the metal parts because it will give you a bit more um, fine look on this aircraft and in 148 scale it should be noticeable so that's why it's a worthy investment. Next I'm opening the second plastic bag so just give me a second to take it out. I'm trying to understand how it should be removed from here. Okay so as I said this one is dedicated to various new parts which will be needed for the early version of this counter invader and for example here you can see the pylon parts for the underwing armament and everything looks fine it's just a matter of careful installation of course check the alignment of these pylons because it will be visible on the 148 scale aircraft if you install it in the wrong position and as you could understand this pylons are actually glued out of two halves. Next we continue with the tail wings. So for the tail wings we are also gluing them from two halves. We have the separate elevators and here inside you can see also some guiding elements which will help you with overall alignment of these parts. Next we continue with the fuselage halves. So both are molded together with the tail fins and external features are pretty much the same as what we saw on the wing parts. It means recessed panel lines and rivets. And also we have landing gear wheels but that's something what I would recommend to replace straight away because in 148 scale it would be a wise idea to use the resin replacement which will be noticeable and as you can see these wheels are quite big. So that's why it's better to opt out for a better detailed uh, alternative. Here inside you can see also some internal features. They are important because if you open the bomb bay they will be visible and obviously these cockpit features are visible through the clear canopy parts. Next we continue with more wing parts and I think that's actually the wings which will be used for today's counter invader version because here you can see we have special slots for the pylons. We also get new cooling parts, some new engine parts and I think the new instrument panel which will be installed in the cockpit obviously and here you can see some guiding elements for these large wing halves. But that's not all because we also get one more pair of wing halves together with new propellers. So these propellers are provided as a single piece parts which is really great because 
it will speed up the assembly process and obviously you get the right alignment out of the box so you don't have to worry about such minor things okay next we continue with four identical plastic sprues which are dedicated to the bombs and missile launchers so i will show you on the one because there is no need to show the same stuff again and again but you can get the idea of how this items will be assembled so they should be glued out of several parts and i wouldn't be surprised if some aftermarket producer will come up with the resin replacement which will make it easier because resin will be molded or casted as a single piece part and also it will provide slightly better features maybe so if you are eager to spend a bit more then definitely check out what is offered on the market next we continue with the decals so here we get the two decal sheets first one is named as a u.s armament obviously it will be used for the underwing equipment which is placed on this aircraft and printing quality is really nice these are mostly stencils but they look quite good and yes it might be a bit tedious to apply them but it's really worth it but that's not all because as you remember i said we have two decal sheets so here is another one this one is more concerned with the aircraft itself, so we get the main symbols for several marking options. We also get some stencils, we even have some cockpit decals, but obviously if you would like to get all the features in the pilot workspace, it's better to opt out for the PE parts. And I think Edward does produce a decent set for the cockpit PE set, and it costs quite a reasonable price, I would say. So here we continue with assembly manual. This one is provided as a color printed brochure. We have short history note, technical specifications, and also colors chart here, as well as the address of the manufacturer, obviously. So a lot of red color spaces. All these parts will not be used, and that's something what we were talking during the video review. As I remember, we have two versions of the main wing, for example, also several versions of the propeller and wing mechanization. So that's why it will be important to pay attention on which parts should be used for today's version. As you can see, even the armament will be barely touched because we will need only the missile launchers and that's pretty much all bombs will be uh, left untouched and you can use them in some next projects in the future. Assembly process starts with the bombs. Surprise, surprise, because then you have to install them in the bomb bay and we continue with bulkheads as you remember these bulkheads are also serving as a wing support and then only on the step step 12 we start building the uh, cockpit which will be installed in the nose area then we start working on the opposite fuselage half basically the same procedure and then you join fuselage halves together you continue with the tail wings here you assemble the nose section and note that it will be built out of several parts you also have to use the nose weight it's quite hefty 40 grams so be sure to install it there because otherwise you'll get a tail sitter next we continue with the wing assembly so here we use this new type of the wing as i said before and also there is external fuel tank installed on the wing tip next we continue with wing mechanization on the opposite side obviously and then we install these wings onto these supports as we said before and then we start working on the engine gondolas so here we also have to do some modifications for the canopy parts and that might be a bit tricky so pay attention to all these dimensions it would be cool to get some template printed here instead of these dimensions because it will make it easier just to cut it out and then do some rescribing according to it but i guess uh, icm did not have time maybe or space for fitting such feature next we continue with landing gear so as you can see here it is assembled out of several parts for each wheel that's why i was saying maybe it's wise idea to get the resin replacement but engine is quite good here so definitely think through how to expose at least one of them because it would be a shame to hide it inside the coating next we continue with the external flaps for the engine also bomb bay can be opened or closed it will be up to you whether you would like to do so and here we install the pylons on the wings propellers 
here we continue with this missile launcher so two external pylons will be actually occupied with this missile launchers and you are finished on the step 101 i think no it's 103 even and here we have the masks template so it's quite funny that they marked the red color because these masks are not used in today's version but still it is nice that we get the masks template included into the standard package here we have first marking option for this aircraft second third and here is the fourth so all of them are this green covered aircraft but i guess maybe there is some back history behind them so it's definitely worth some researching and of course this kit is already available you can get it in Modelimex webshop i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye